as ISRO has now put out the latest tweet which is talking about the day-by-day -day progress that Pragyan, the rover, is making on the moon's southern surface. In fact, the ISRO tweet reads that a two-segment ramp has facilitated the roll down of the Pragyan ro rover from the Vikram's uh, belly. In fact, a solar panel enabled the rover to generate that power. So it is in fact laying down all of the technicalities that were at play to ensure a smooth functioning of the Pragyan rover on the lunar south pole. And also the rapid deployment of the ramp and solar panel that took place, that is a depiction through video that they are in fact putting out. My colleague Harish is joining us on the broadcast to offer more perspective on this latest tweet by ISRO. Yes, Harish. Well, uh, there were multiple challenges in Chandrayaan 2. Obviously, the biggest one was soft landing. But even after soft landing, it was not job over. Uh, remember, the ISRO had to ensure that uh, the rover gets out smoothly from the lander and also it doesn't topple and it can function smoothly. So how did this hap happen? This hmm. video, in a way, gives you that in a chronological order. Uh, first, remember, a sonar, uh, a sonar, a solar panel yes. uh, was enabled uh, to generate power and the ramps were deployed, solar panels were deployed, post which you see this rover slowly moving out. It's moving out at a pace of around uh, one centimeter uh, per second. Uh, mm. There were 26 different mechanisms uh, that were part of this entire sequence of events. Uh, what is more is uh, the fact that all of it has been developed at the URRA Satellite Center. Okay. Remember, we talk about the demonstration of soft landing uh, capability, but at the same time, so much of technology and systems that are part of Chandrayaan 3 have been developed in-house by ISRO and the scientists that we've spoken so far saying that uh, it's almost on par uh, with the achievement of soft landing. So all of it demonstrated in this mechanism of ensuring that the rover uh, comes out smoothly from the lander and then goes about uh, in a way looking at the surface of the moon uh, just within the 500 meter radius of this lander. Absolutely. And Harish, uh, now it's on the t on, onto the job of the Pragyan rover. It has 14 Earth days, which is, of course, akin to one lunar day. That's that much amount of time that it has. But is the scientific community really saying anything about the same? Is the job going to end after that one lunar day is complete or the sunlight uh, that moon is receiving is, uh, is over or it is going to be continuing to function? Is that a possibility, really? Well, that is a possibility. Uh, many within ISRO will be keeping their fingers crossed once this uh, one lunar day ends and a lunar night begins. And then we will have to wait for the next uh, lunar day to begin. Uh, but what are the challenges? Well, look at the temperature uh, that will be there when the lunar night begins. It hmm. might be anywhere around uh, 230, minus 230 degrees is what many are assessing. Uh, there are challenges in terms of the environment over there. It doesn't have a stable atmosphere like uh, Earth. So many saying there are challenges in terms of uh, something uh, perhaps coming the way of the rover or even the soil there, which is much different than what we find on Earth, getting welded onto the systems or even the legs of the rover. There are multiple challenges. So ISRO doesn't want to comment much now. They are saying, let's take these 10, 12 days that we have to carry out these experiments. Once a new lunar day begins, then we will see if we can ensure that these solar panels can once again generate energy. If all systems on board are in good health and if we can restart the lander and the rover. Remember, mm. they will have to ensure that all these systems will restart and work properly when a new lunar day begins. And uh, ISRO saying that the track record is good. Remember, both uh, okay. the Chandrayaan 1 and Chandrayaan 2 have lived uh, well beyond their uh, uh, design time. Mm. And they're hoping they'll be lucky even with Chandrayaan 3. Also, Harish, uh, the fact that you talk about Chandrayaan 2, uh, many people in, in a common uh, sort of discourse would call it a failed mission. But the scientific community, of course, begs to differ because there was a lot of, uh, you know, understanding that Chandrayaan 2 really gave to the community so that they were able to go ahead with the successful touchdown of Chandrayaan 3 on Moon's uh, South Pole. Wanted to understand about the orbiter of Chandrayaan 2 that is going to be used by Chandrayaan 3. If you can put that... Uh, in context for our viewers, what would that be? Well, absolutely. It would be wrong to say Chandrayaan 2 was a failure. What was a failure is that we couldn't achieve a soft landing uh, with the lander in Chandrayaan 2. But the orbiter is still going around. 
the uh, orbit of moon we've got a lot of uh, data that's coming in uh, in fact that has come in over the last few years from the payloads that are part of chandrayaan 2 orbiter in fact it could be anywhere around uh, 65 assessment of isro a lot of it is being used for planning of chandrayaan 3 as well and there is a communication that has been established uh, between chandrayaan 3 lander and the chandrayaan 2 orbiter as well so no stretch of imagination uh, that was a total failure it was just a soft landing which failed the orbiter in fact has contributed immensely uh, to the research and also the planning of chandrayaan right uh, thank you so much for that harish uh, those are the latest uh, pictures that uh, we have got from the south surface of the moon that we played out for our viewers that is the latest tweet by isro and they in fact have explained to the indians the rapid deployment of the ramp how did the pragyan really come out of the belly of vikram and now it is roving roving on the moon's south pole we will of course constantly be bringing you all of those updates remember it's a proud proud moment for every indian as chandrayaan 3 has made a successful touchdown on the south pole of the lunar surface with